Hello, everyone. This is Jay Dobbins, your host of the Marvel DC Universe Fan Club. We are now at episode 126, and I'll be just discussing one topic, which will be my review on the action film Mile 22, starring Mark Wahlberg, John Malkovich, Iko Uwez, best known for his role in The Raid in Raid 2, and Lauren Cohan, best known for her role as Maggie in the Walking Dead series, and of course, Ronda Rousey. So, um, spoiler alert, for if you have not seen Mile 22, I strongly suggest that you do not listen to this uh, episode. You've been warned. So, um, but yeah, I'll, and also know that the reason why I'm discussing this film is because it's an action film. And as I said earlier in the in one, in some in one of the previous episodes, that you know, not only am I discussing topics in the you know for Marvel and DC, but also you know for other comic books, you know, other comics or uh, sci-fi. Um, you know, and, you know, of course, you know, action, of course, martial arts, anime, video games, and, you know, yeah, other comics, and, of course, um, horror, that's optional, but that kind of depends. So, but, yeah, that's why I'm discussing this film and reviewing it. So, <clears throat> but, yeah, um, I did watch Mile 22 the other night, and I must say it was pretty good, but... uh. So, but yeah, you know, it starts off as, uh, you know, John James Silva, played by, played by Malt Wahlberg, and his team uh, infiltrated a suburban blue house that is a FSB safe house in the United States. His team is named Overwatch, and James Bishop is its supervisor, who tells them where the targets are. Codename Mother, Bishop also has his assistants like Queen who help track in heat, uh, sorry, track down heat signatures of people within the Blue House. Overwatch's mission is to locate and destroy shipments of cesium before the highly toxic substance can be weaponized and kill thousands. Um, the family in the blue house ambushed them, wounding Alice in the stomach. Um, the blue team, sorry, but the team successfully kill all of them. One of the boys um, falls out of an explosion after success, unsuccessfully trying to save all of the cesium. James Silva execute the boy. who pleads not to be killed, and everyone escapes. But before James Silva executes him, he's, his last words were, you are making a big mistake. Silva replied, I made a whole lot of them. But he, you know, soon he'll realize that one of the mistakes he made was a truly big one. So, 16 months later, in an unnamed South East Asian country, Lenore, played by Iko Uez, is meditating before burning his passport, photos of his family, and his ID. It is revealed that James Silva is talented and trained in tactical forces for seven years. James is furious because Alice. Alice's asset has given them the wrong information. They did not find the correct amount of cesium. They still need to find more. After confronting Alice and Sam in the women's in the women's bathroom, James leaves and gets yelled at by his supervisor in a meeting. Lenore purposely hits bicycles with his car and holds up a disc in front of the United States Embassy before surrendering and being arrested. 
it is revealed that Lenore is Alice, Alice's asset. Lenore also touches his hand as a meditation practice, as well as to calm his heartbeat. While in the embassy, the uh, while in the U.S. embassy, Lenore reveals that in the disc are the information regarding the last cesium, uh, but he needs to get out of the airport before he can tell everyone the code. So the information in the disk is destroying itself, and the disk will be useless in a few hours. While Lenore is getting tested, it is uh, revealed that Alice has family issues, and she and her husband do not get along well. Alex, Alex, uh, sorry, Axel, local intelligence chief, arrives in the uh, United States Embassy and tells James that they want Lenore released from the embassy. Meanwhile, Lenore is getting handcuffed, and two medical technicians arrive. They try to kill Lenore for being a traitor to the government. Lee, uh, sorry, Lenore successfully def defends against them and kills them brutally with his martial art, which is pretty much Salet. And Salet is an Indonesian martial art. So we'll fight, in a, you know, well, fight style, martial arts, same thing. Okay, so Sam and Alice arrive, shocked at his combat palace. It is revealed that Lenore has trained as a uh, special force, well, special forces operative, and is highly skilled in Pincott Select. When a hacker, when a hacker on his team says she needs more time, James yells at her, telling that the cesium is likely fear powder. Sorry, the cesium is like fear powder, and it can also be used as radiation. The radiation will be as strong as Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. Sorry, Nagasaki combined. Which is why the hacker needs to work faster. James Silva needs to take Lenore to an airplane where it is 22 miles away while driving Lee, sorry, while driving Lenore. Um, yeah, while driving, Lenore reveals that he wants to bring the Indonesian government down because they are corrupt and they killed, you know, and they kill his family. Well, that's not what he said, of course. But while driving, the camera bishop was looking at uh, blacks out, and it comes on again. During the camera, uh, the camera blackout, Axel and his men put bombs on the car, making it explode. While James' team helps fend off Axel's men, Sam is mortally injured. After defeating most of Axel's men, James gives Sam two grenades and leaves her. When two henchmen see Sam, Sam sacrifices himself to kill the henchman. Sorry, Sam sacrifices herself to kill the henchman. James Silva, Lenore, Alice, and Douglas enter a restaurant. James Silva sees Axel and walks towards him. Even though Bishop tells uh, him not to, Axel tells James to give up. Lenore, but James refuses and walks away. He uh, he brushes past two girls and realizes that there is a grenade in the restaurant and tackles uh, and tackles civilians down before it explodes. When the dust clears, Douglas is injured heavily, and James is attacked by two girls, but not before Lenore helps him and kills him. While escaping, James demands that Lenore tell him to tell him the codes, even threatening to shoot him, but Lenore refuses. James Silva says that they need to go to a safe house to rest. Even though Lenore objects to this, 
So uh, while going to the safe house, Douglas notices that Axel's men are coming and wards them off. He takes multiple bullets before uh, being injured by Axel. While going to the safe house, Alice is split up and meets a girl in an apartment. She rigs two grenades, one for the door and one for the wall. When the, when the, when the henchman opens it, both grenades explode, killing the henchman and opening a wall, which Alice and, and the girl escape. Meanwhile, James and Lenore split up, and James tries to fight against Axel while Lenore kills most of the henchmen. James and Lenore meet up again and meet the girl Alice saved. She leads them. She leads them to Alice, where Alice is losing against a henchman, but Lenore kills the henchman by shooting him in the head. They barely make it to the airplane, where Lenore and Alice uh, board the airplane to meet her family once again. While on the airplane, Bishop notices Lenore's heart rate is accelerating, and, well, it is revealed that Lenore isn't a double agent, but a triple agent. Well, he was working for the Russian government and the boys Silva and the boys Silva killed. Sorry. Yeah, he was wor- he was working for the Russian government and the boy James Silva killed was the son of a high ranking official within the Russian government. Yep. I'm pretty sure he regrets that. Well, he, you know, now pretty much. So, yeah, he killed the wrong boy pretty much. Or wrong kid, rather. He was 18, and yeah, the kid was 18. The official hired Lenore to give Alice the wrong information so they would trust him. And just as Alice, and just as Alice is realizing this, Overwatch, Overwatch is ambushed and the entire team is shot. Bishop barely escapes and rests outside while Alice's fate is left unknown. James Silver realizes this too late and tells his uh, experience during a post-mission debriefing. Back at home, Silver puts up Lenore's picture, vowing revenge. So, honestly, I think that, I mean, I, I smell a sequel, pretty much. So I'm going to be real about that. And um, so, yeah, I pretty much smell a sequel on this one. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And now, the grand finale. I'm going to give. I'm, I'm going to talk about what I, you know, what I think about the film. So, I'm going to give the movie a 100 out of 100, pretty much. Um, the writing was excellent. You know, I wish there was more action, but it was enough action. So the writing was good. I like how they did a twisting plot at the end. And honestly, that twist, I did not see that coming at all. So I do, I hate to admit it, but yeah, I didn't see that coming. Never thought, okay, there would be a twisting plot to this. And I thought it would never be open to be a sequel. So when it was like, oh, he's not just, a, either the, oh, Lenore's not just a, you know, double agent. He's a triple agent. I'm like, triple agent? I was like, wow. So I'm still tri- pretty much tripping about the movie to this very day. So, but yeah, um, you know, for a $35 million budget, I think they did pretty good. So, uh, well, actually, yeah, a $35 million production budget, not just budget, but production budget. So, but yeah, I think they did pretty good on that. So, because I'm pretty sure the writers are like, okay, this is how we're going to do it. You know, we're going to make them think that, you know, he's the, he, he's a hero, even though he's really the villain. So they tried to so they tried to make the villain look like the hero, which I thought was pretty good. And I never pictured Eco UA as a bad guy. Never really thought that. But I know that for for real that and I know now I know for a fact that if they do if they do a sequel to this, which they pretty much left it open for, Mark Wahlberg's gonna have his hands full. You know, you're talking about the Russian government. They you know, and Lenore. Lenore is like the pretty much of the muscle. LeBron, you know. That's what he is. So before he could take down 
the Russian government, which is one of the high-ranking officials in the Russian government who's vowing revenge for her son's death, he's going to have to take out Lenore in order to get to her, the mother, who is the ranking official, pretty much. So, yeah, he's going to have his hands full. That's if he doesn't have another team. But, you know, he might be like Joyce, you know, he might pull Jason Bourne, you know, except better. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think it pretty did good. I like the writing and, you know, I like the action. You know, they, it was a, it was enough action. I would say, I mean, I wish they had put a little bit more in there, but, you know, I think they put in enough. So, but yeah, I thought it was pretty good. So I definitely would buy that on iTunes and I would watch it a second time, no doubt. Um, but yeah, I would say, you know, the, the action, the writing, uh, it was good. All right, well, that concludes this uh, episode. So feel free to visit us and like us on Facebook. We are available on iTunes and the Google Play Music app.